Hi, this is Paul. I want to make a video. Again, I, I said to myself that I didn't want to make any more videos about Justice League, but, you know, they really keep, it's like they're almost rubbing our faces in it, in a way. So that's why I, you know, I had to make this video. Uh, they released a deleted scene, because I think Justice League is coming on digital on the 13th of February, and then it comes out on the March 13th, you know, Blu-ray. But a deleted scene, again, from Justice League, and the Superman with the black suit, and uh, him in his, you know, on the scout ship, uh, and then him passing by the black suit. And um, it really just reinforces <laughs> the disaster that Warner Brothers did with Justice League, the butcher job that they did with Justice League. And now I watched uh, the film Junkie, and he was talking about that maybe, remember, there was a thing that Zack Snyder stepped away because his daughter, you know, unfortunately, you know, she... Uh, committed suicide and of course he wanted to be with his family and stuff he tried to push on I think initially and then they said he stepped away to be with his family and now it's trying to come out that they're saying that basically Warner Brothers fired him and and basically that's and they, and that, they brought in Josh Wheaton to Avengerify Jess League and wind up being an absolute mess and I just really hate the fact that they treated Zack Snyder so so crap, you know, so crap, you know, they treat him like crap, which is really a shame. And I think, again, I blame the president of Warner Brothers, uh, Kevin Fujihari, I think that's his name. What a moron. Him and his first, his dumbass edict that, Warner, that Justly had to be under two hours. That was stupid to begin with. Okay, that was so stupid. Okay, and again, people are saying they were doing it because they wanted their bonuses. Uh, for this year, I think they were supposed to get bonuses. Him and another guy was supposed to get bonuses at the beginning of this year. And what basically what they did was create a a, a monster of a movie because apparently Zack Snyder had had a director's cut or his cut. He delivered his first cut of the movie, uh, but before he stepped away or was fired, and uh, then they uh, after he left, they brought in uh, Josh Whedon and basically they reshoot scenes and. You wind up getting a movie that's an absolute. It's a mix of. It's, it's basically like I said, a Frankenstein movie. It's a. It's a mix of different parts, basically like Frankenstein, literally like Frankenstein monster is literally a mixture of different parts, and it really is a shame that again, and I, I again I was I said it in the video that I made when I did a reaction to the Superman deleted black suit scene that we're probably never going to see that uh, deleted you know Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League unless. Uh, Kevin Fujihari leaves Warner Brothers, and a new regime comes along, and they decide to invest in the money to score it and and finish the FX in it. That's that's the only way, and maybe that's down the line. Because, but with this current regime, you're never going to get it because that would be that would make them look like idiots, the idiots that they are, that they butchered Zack Snyder's vision and 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 created the mess that is Justice League. Now, as a fan, I'm going to get the movie anyway, even though I I didn't like what they like, like, I didn't like what they did to the movie. I, I like that they butchered Zack's vision. I really hate that. And they have nobody to blame for, but themselves for it. And I just, just from the, just the mess of everything, it just really breaks my heart that now you're going to have to wait. And hopefully, I'm thinking, maybe down the line, we'll get it, we'll get a decent Just League movie down the line, hopefully. But it seems like Warner Brothers not learning a lesson. I mean, now they seem to be pushing on to try to do a solo J Joker movie, which nobody was asking for. I mean, I know that you got Martin Scorsese if he if he truly uh, is going to direct it, not Todd Phillips. Okay, if, I know they see Martin Scorsese wants to produce it, but I think Todd Phillips wants to direct it, and they get um uh, what's his name uh, Joaquin Phoenix to be the Joker. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but I wasn't asking for it. Okay, and the fact that they trying to push on with a Flashpoint movie when they don't really need a Flashpoint movie at this point. Okay, just do a solo Flash movie. And like I said before, I think in another video, just do the solo movies. Okay, just concentrate on those. Don't try to... Okay, Flashpoint is a movie that that should be made down the line after you establish these guys with their solo movies. And now, I, David Sanborn, I think that's his name, who's doing the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Suzanne movie right now. Okay, which I'm looking forward to. I'm actually looking forward to that, and I have full faith in Patty Jenkins to do the sequel to Wonder Woman. And James Wan is wrapped up, okay, Aquaman, which should be coming out in December of this year. So, 
if they just concentrate on the solo movies, and like I said, then maybe down the line, you know, you do the Justice League movie in another two years, and hopefully maybe this time you get a director that you won't mess with his vision, and you won't give him a, a stupid timeline, uh, get a, 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 a time limit on his, on, the, on his vision. And I'm just hoping down the line, maybe, like I said, maybe in a few years, once uh, this Kevin Fujihari gets fired uh, or moved on, that the new president of Warner Brothers, whoever that is, will see fit to give give us Zack Snyder's cut so we can see just like the way it was intended to be, okay? And I know there was a lot of things in it that they didn't show. Like there was supposed to be Cyborg's family and stuff. There were scenes that were shot with that and more scenes with Aquaman and and uh, William Defoe as Volko that you didn't get to see. A lot of stuff that you just didn't get to see because these idiots hacked, you know, butchered the movie and cut it up and then had Josh Whedon come in suit scenes and then you had the whole Superman mustache gate thing, which if I was Warner Brothers, I would, I would have said, screw, I would have told Henry Cavill, shave your mustache, okay? I would have shaved his mustache, well, shave your mustache. Paramount was being an ass, being assholes about it. And I would have said, shave your mustache, okay? If they want to sue us, then let them sue us and take Paramount to court, okay? Because apparently, I'm sorry, unless they had that, I still don't, to me that seemed, I don't think they could have ever written that into a contract that he had to have that mustache. I think that was, I think that was a bunch of BS. And I would have, if I was one of them, I would have challenged that of court. I said, you know what, take me to court, okay? And he challenged me, he showed me in this, somewhere in this contract where it says that he has to maintain a stupid mustache, like his mustache was bite vital to the character. Get the hell out of here. And like he couldn't grow a mustache back or they couldn't put a, a fake mustache on him that looked like the one he had before. They're full of crap. Okay, that's why I said climb out a bunch of dicks and Warner Brothers should have stood up for them. And it's just a, and it just really breaks my heart because they were so looking forward to Just League so bad and, and, and they basically fooled us with all the trailers and stuff and made it look like it was going to be one thing and then they gave us another, they gave us a mess. And I really, it breaks my heart. And I feel bad, I feel so bad for Zack Snyder and I feel bad for the actors because I think they did the best they could and the, the movie got butchered by the, by the execs. And I really just, it breaks my heart. And now you have all these people saying, oh, see, it's a, it's a mess on set. And I'm going to say this one more time to all the haters of Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder is a, is a really good filmmaker, okay? He may not be everybody's uh, uh, cup of tea, but to me, he's a great filmmaker and I, I enjoy most of everything he's done. So uh, to me, I would have loved to see his vision for Justice League, what he would have done without the studio. I want to see his cut of the movie. That's what I would like to see. And I hate that they butchered his vision. I really do. And uh, again, I just hope for the best. Hopefully with the solo, they do the solo movies. And like I said, the Joker movie, like I said, I wasn't looking forward to it, but maybe if it's done like an Elseworlds story and you let Jared Leto continue to be the Joker in the regular universe. I wouldn't mind that. It's just concentrate on the solo movies. Don't do Flashpoint. This is my advice, okay? Not that they could have to take it or anything. Con con concentrate on the solo movies. Give Henry Cavill Man of Steel 2, okay? And I think Henry Cavill will be in Sazam as a cameo or whatever, which I think is a good idea. And maybe even have The Rock make a cameo, and that would be great. Wonder Woman 2, I have faith in Patty Jenkins. Okay, James Wan already finished uh, Aquaman, so I have full faith in James Wan. He's a great filmmaker, and hopefully they didn't screw around with him, okay, but, which I don't think they did because he's because he, he has power, and they, they don't want to screw around with him. So I have full faith with him. And just concentrate on solo movies. Don't do Flashpoint. Do a regular fast Flash movie, okay? Flashpoint, I hope they really come to their senses and don't do a Flashpoint movie. It's too involved, has too many characters, and it, okay, just do a regular Flash movie, okay? And then do your Nightwing movie and the Batgirl movie, do it, okay? And you can even have cameos from the other heroes in those, but concentrate on the solo movies, and then down the line, maybe in another two years, in 2020, you can do another Justice League movie, okay? Okay, and add in maybe Hot Girl and Green Lantern to the mix, and do the Legion of Doom since you set it up in the last Justice League movie. Have you know have it be Justice League versus Legion of Doom, okay? And then maybe get George Miller to direct it, or somebody else, or uh, or even uh, I don't know who you're gonna get, but get somebody else to direct and let that director have free reign, okay? Don't micromanage him, okay? Anyway, that's it. I'm sorry I'm rambling, but I just 
I was just so fed up, you know, with what could be, you know, and seeing those deleted scenes just make you even makes you more makes you even more mad that they screwed around with Zach's vision, and it really pisses me off that they did this. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram in the description box, as well as my main channel, Trey Pastor, in the description box. Please check that out as well. And this is Paul saying so long. Take care.